Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to my new channel. Um, I love watching movies, I love watching TV shows, I love watching YouTube videos and I love talking about them. So I thought why not make a channel, put it on the internet and discuss everything with all of you. And I hope you're having a great day. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this for a really long time. I was thinking about a show to start with for weeks, months already. And there was one show in particular um, that came to my mind like every now and then that I really am interested in because I heard that it is a great show. And that is like you've already seen in the title, um, Doctor Who. And uh, yeah, well, we're going to watch it today. This is going to be the first TV show I'm ever reacting to. And I really hope it's a great show. Uh, I do not know much about it. I know it's. Uh, it was originally broadcasted on BBC. And um, it's a show that... A science fiction show that has like kind of time travel in it I'm not sure that's rumors that I heard <laughs> and yeah, well that's about it that's everything that I know I'm originally German so I hope that my English is good enough for you to understand and I hope that my vocabulary and my grammar is good enough to not mess up everything I guess it is but sometimes like um, I'm missing words <laughs> and maybe there will be a pause or two so I have to think about the word that I'm looking for in my brain but I I guess that will not be a big problem I hope so and uh, second of all I am going to watch the first, let's say, three to five episodes. Maybe you can leave a comment under the video um, because this is something that's different from show to show. How many episodes you need, you really need to get into the story so that you can really enjoy watching them. Um, and I think like three to five episodes is going to be enough or should be enough to get into the story and enjoy it. Um, and then I'm going to decide whether I would like to continue or if I will switch to another show that maybe is better for me. I don't know. But I don't want to react to a show that I don't enjoy because this will not be good for me it will not be good for you and um, I want to have fun I want you to have fun so let's see if Doctor Who is a show that we are okay, going to enjoy. that's it I'm so nervous <laughs> I am so excited I really really hope that I will enjoy this show and let's get into it yes let's start Oh wow, okay. <laughs> having a feeling that Wilson is kind of dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wilson? This is horrifying. Oh god. I hate mannequins. Oh no. I knew it. Oh my god. You got me very funny. Oh my god, it's more than one. Right, I've got the joke. Whose idea was this? Is it Derek's? That's is horrifying. It? Derek, is this you? Oh god. Ooh. Oh, 
don't show them. Is that Wilson? Oh my god, they're running too? Oh god, please, no. Oh, okay. Rose, nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life. Oh, he's the doctor, Doctor Who, I suppose. She took the arm with her. <laughs> Just hope the arm doesn't kill your boyfriend. Oh no, don't do that! Oh, that's a doctor, isn't what it? You're doing? There's a strange man in my bedroom. Oh no, please! Yes, <laughs> well, anything could happen. Oh god. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Oh my god, the arm is back. <laughs> Don't. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the explanation that they didn't answer like any questions in a head. Yeah, that'll help. <laughs> oh, don't. It's gonna swallow you, isn't it? Okay, CGI. <laughs> oh my god, it's a pizza. 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 Or Chinese. Pizza. How's she not recognizing that he's not him anymore? I mean, it's obvious. But you can trust me, sweetheart, babe. Babe. Sugar. Babe. Sugar. You can tell me anything. Tell me. Wait, he's gonna follow us. What? Lords of Genghis Khan couldn't get through that door. Believe me, they've tried. Now, shut up a minute. Look smaller from the outside. Like a dish, like a wheel, right? Oh, the Close eye. Where we're standing. That's why it's cool, right? Invisible. What? What? I've been there when I went to London. What is it? What? Oh, I've Thank been you. there, I remember. All over the world, every artificial. Yeah, well, maybe you should go home. Yeah. Rose, Rose, don't go out of the house. It's not safe. <laughs> Not over these things. And they were shooting. And they... Hello. She told you not to go out of the house. She would have wanted to go. Come on, let's go. Hello again. By the way, did I mention it also travels in time? <laughs> this is the year. No, 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 no next time. No next time. Okay. And hello again. Now, this is a video of me one day later. Because I have watched the episode yesterday, the first one of Doctor Who. And um, I was recording a recap afterwards. But I was so unhappy with it when I tried to edit it. And I had to cut out so many things. <laughs> because I was like searching for words in my brain. And I couldn't express myself the way I would have liked to. And I was really unhappy about it. So I thought, why not record another one? And I hope this one will be better so that you understand what I try to say and that um, I uh, can express myself the way I like. And uh, because this show is way too good to um, get such a horrible review like the one I did yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I was stuttering all the time. I was searching for words in my brain. I was pausing all the time. I was like repeating myself all the time. 
and so on. So, okay. I want to point out some things first because I, uh, before I start with the review. And this is when I edited my uh, review yesterday, um, I got the impression that, uh, that I was talking way too slow and um, that when I try to make a sentence that I need like one or two minutes to, um, for it to, to be finished because I'm like stuttering all the time. And I'm really sorry for that, but I'm not a native speaker and I hope it is good enough for you to not um, get crazy over it. Um, but I just want to point it out. I'm not the best English speaker and I try my very best to get better at uh, any point. Um, second thing I want to point out is um, that I recognized, which I didn't know since yesterday, that I am um, having a habit of switching accents like all of the time. I thought that I was like talking when when I was talking, I, I thought I was um, having the same accent like throughout the whole video, but apparently I didn't. I was switching from like Americanish accent to British accent, like something like that. And maybe uh, my brain was confused because I was watching a British show. I don't know <laughs> if that is the reason for it, but it's kind of strange. And I just uh, want to point it out. I am so sorry for that, but I can't change the way I speak. I mean, I can like learn and um, pro progress, but I don't know how long this will take. And I am doing my very best promise okay and the last part um i was missing a very particular word yesterday to be able to describe what i felt while watching the episode and it didn't come to my mind no matter how hard i thought about it and while i was sleeping tonight it just appeared and the word, the one word I would describe this episode, and there is a switch to the review, is disturbing. That's what I felt like 80% throughout the first episode. It was like a mixture of happiness because the show is so effing good. It's way better than I thought. I thought... Um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I need like two to four to five episodes to get into the story to start liking the show. But no, I watched the first episode and I'm so happy with it and I'm so excited for the second one. I am going to watch it like after um, editing the video today. I'm going to watch the second episode. I'm sorry, I bumped um, on my chair behind me. Um, on to is this the right expression i don't know i'm so sorry my english is all over the place um and um the the i was one part of me was so happy that it was so good because like the second it started i already felt sucked into the world and i was not thinking about anything else which normally i do like um when i watch a show like every 10 to 20 minutes my brain is like wandering around and thinking about what i have to buy today uh, or what i have to do or if i have to wash the laundry or stuff like that but no i was in the episode like all of the time i was not zoning out and this is really a great sign and I'm so excited to continue this show because it seems to be really good. I've heard so many people say it's good but I think yesterday uh, I confirmed to myself that it might really be great. So I'm excited for it. Okay but the second part and that is what I tried to tell you yesterday and it didn't come out of my mouth the words didn't form so i felt disturbed like throughout the whole episode from the start because right when rose gets like we were a minute into the episode and she goes down into the cellar looking for wilson or yeah wilson 
and there was all um there were all of those mannequins and when she walked into the cellar i and i saw the mannequins i thought oh my god they are coming to get a life and they did and it was so disturbing i hate mannequins and i i felt the 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 fear that she felt i felt it for myself and maybe you can see it on the expression uh, uh, with the expression on my face that I made. I was so disgusted and horrified and everything all together. And it was so good. And it, this continued throughout the whole episode. Because every time... Oh, the one time when the boyfriend got eaten by the dumpster thing. And then he's sitting in the car. And she gets into the car. And talks to him. And I don't know why. But she didn't recognize that it wasn't him anymore. I don't know how it, this could slip to her mind. I don't know. Because it was so creepy. And it was so disturbing. I was sitting there like. Pizza. 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 Oh my god. That was great. And then when they went to the restaurant again. Oh god. I had so much fun with this. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this story is going to continue. So, let's switch to the characters. First of all, Rose. I like Rose. She's so pretty. That's what I thought when I saw her the first time. And I think she, um, because she went with the doctor at the end of the episode, she is going to be like a teammate for him or like helping him. I... I really was thinking maybe this gets answered like later in the show, but he was um he was traveling around through time and space for like I don't know hundreds of years. I'm thinking about the photos that, that uh, one man had at home and he was traveling around for so much time and this is the moment when he chooses to have a team member and a second person for him to help out. I don't know. Maybe he saw something in Rose that um, we didn't or we are not able to see at the moment. Maybe there is another connection that we don't know yet. But I am thinking about why he did this at this point in time. Because when, uh, why didn't he do this right at the start? I mean, maybe he hadn't, ha hasn't had a friend or something that he could take with him. Or maybe other people didn't want to go with him and he asked them before, but they would say no. I, I don't know. This is a question that maybe gets answered later on in the, in the story. Um, yeah. But I guess Rose is the one to be his friend now or his colleague or I don't know, maybe his love affair. I don't know what this is going to be, but I like it and I am really, really um, looking forward to seeing what the adventures they are going to have. <laughs> Sometimes my brain, I am so sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Um, second character, I want to point out the two little ones that we have seen in episode two. Uh, first, the boyfriend of Rose, which I can't really say too much about him. Oh, it's three characters. It's a boyfriend and the mom. Um, those two characters, I cannot say um, much about them. I guess the boyfriend was a first episode only kind of deal and he will not appear in other episodes. I don't know because she left him and I had the feeling that she was not really into him. I don't know. And the mother? Actually, I don't know. Because it's a mother. Even if she leaves her for now, but she's will be a, she will be able to travel through time and space so she could come back to her like every now and then visit her looking after her i don't know if she'll do that i i don't know but i guess we will see the mother again 
with the boyfriend. I guess he's history. I don't know. And um, the other character is the man that um, Rose went to visit. Um, the one she found on the internet. The one who was searching for um, Dr. Who. I was thinking about the name. Oh my god. Um, the one she, uh, the one who was looking for Doctor Who and the one who found the pictures and the paintings and uh, who found out that he is traveling through time. I don't know. I think he's dead. It seemed like the mannequin shot him. But, I don't, but they didn't clarify if it was a deadly shot or if he was just wounded or something. I don't know. Could be both. I hope he's still alive because, well, he didn't know that much. And now that he, she knows Doctor Who, he's not really someone she would need to find out things. Because I guess Doctor Who is the ultimate uh, goal. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, the last character I want to talk about, it's obvious, is Doctor Who himself. <laughs> um, and I have to say, I really like him. Um, he is so funny and he has a kind of a slapstick comedy to it um, compared with the dark humor, which um, is really amusing. It's really... Uh, I was laughing most of the times when he talked and when he did something because he's not taking himself too seriously, I guess. And even when he confronts danger and even when his life is on the line, he is like joking about it. And I guess that's maybe because he already lived a long, long life because we don't really know if he is... Um, uh, that old like um he seems like i don't know 45 or something like 40 45 ish and we don't know if this is his real age or maybe if he went back in time or if maybe visited the future at any point and played around with his age and it could be possible. I mean, everything could be possible in this show. And that's what, where I get later. Uh, I want to talk about this later. Um, but we don't know it is, if it's his real age. And if everything we are seeing now, everything we know about him or we think we know about him is what it seems. I guess it's not. I guess we're going to find out something that we are not even thinking about right now. Um, yeah, Doctor Who. He is such a good character. I liked him from the start. The first scene when we saw him, when um, Rose was uh, hunted by those mannequins, and he appeared with the bomb in his hand and was like, you gotta get out of here. You gotta run for your life. And the way he said it, though, was so funny. Um, and that continued throughout the whole episode when he was wrestling with the arm that she brought home or at the restaurant when he was offering the was wine or I don't know I don't remember Chardonnay or something um, until the very end when he was showing her um, his time machine and and he was asking her to go with her which like I just said I am wondering why he asked her and why he asked her at that moment I don't know we're going to find out, I guess. Um, this is something that we still have to discover, like many things. And yeah, that's about it. I really like him. And the show itself. I already said that I like it. I don't want to repeat myself too often. But um, I was imagining the possibilities that this show does have because a 
it's a science fiction um, show which tells you right from the start that there will be a reality mixed with things that you cannot imagine, with things that don't belong in the world like normally. And this gives you the possibility to do everything that you want like right from the start. But on like adding to this the fact that he like Doctor Who has a time machine in which he can travel like through time um from one place to another on the on the planet Earth and onto other planets if I got this right. So it's like a um how are they called Ricky and more more <laughs> god i'm butchering the name ricky morty like kind of situation where they are they they are using portals to go from one place to another and rick and morty i'm so sorry oh my god um and he's using this uh, police uh, phone box i don't know what it's called and he can go anywhere at any time and so it's really unpredictable I mean I could think about what could happen in the next episode but everything that I know is that he's going to be in it maybe Rose is going to be in it maybe he's like he's going to give her some more information in the second episode about who he is and what he's doing and what's the bigger reason behind it. I don't know. But apart from that, I don't know anything. I, it could literally be everything, everything. And I am wondering if the next episode or even the show itself is going to be that disturbing throughout or if this was just the first episode and the next ones are going to be lighter versions of that. I don't know because it was really freaking me out. Those mannequins, oh my god. And I am so excited when I think about because the first episode was so good, set so high standards, then I don't know what a finale is going to look like in this show. And I'm really looking forward to it because I think it's going to be great. And another thing is what I am like wanting to know or I don't want to know. I want to find out while watching the episode. So please don't comment on that. Um, are they going, how many main characters are they going to be? And are they going to be character, like big character deaths? That we're going to see i don't know and i don't want to know please don't comment no spoilers in the youtube comments because if i will read just one minor spoiler i will stop immediately like reading youtube comments because i do not have a mod or something and i was thinking about uh, getting a patreon just because of the reason that they're um I know that from other reactors that when they do have a Patreon that the comments on there are not that spoilery because the people who are like Patreons don't want the reactors to find out certain stuff so they don't spoil them. But on YouTube, like everyone can um, comment. Yeah. And the other reason I'm thinking about getting a Patreon is because I don't really like um, that I have to cut an episode that is like 30 to 45 minutes. I don't know how mu how long the episode has been yesterday into a five minute, five to seven minute part. I really think uh, that there is so much fun missing when an episode is cut into like so uh, such short parts, but you have to do that on YouTube because Otherwise, it will get claimed and I don't want the episode to get, I w don't want the episode to get taken down. And um, that's why I th was thinking about getting a Patreon so I can upload extended or maybe even uncut parts. 
and you can watch the whole show together with me like along with me i guess i don't know maybe you can leave a comment down below if you would like to see full length reactions of myself to this show and maybe then i'm going to think about if this could be a good thing to do um yeah i guess that's it i guess um i have talked about everything that i wanted to talk about in the episode oh one thing the um, the cgi effects oh my god they're hilarious i don't know when this show was produced um when the first season aired or was was filmed but or even how much money they had for producing the first season but the cgi effects are so good i mean they're not good good but they are like I don't know they feel like i'm watching a film or a show from 19 something and it feels like it gives me the cozy little retro feeling and that's so cool i really really like it so i don't mind if the, if the cgi effects aren't um, on top of what we are knowing is possible nowadays but it was so charming and I really, really liked it. And yeah. So that's it. That's my review for the first episode of Doctor Who. I'm excited to get into the second one. After I edited this one, I'm going to upload it on YouTube. I'm going to upload one episode a week. Um, and um, yeah, please leave some comments down below what you like, what you didn't, what you liked, what you didn't like. And please, please be respectful um, and cons constructive. Is that a, an English word or is it just a German word and I'm making this up? I don't know. Um, please don't comment on my way of talking if it's negative because I am not very confident of myself. I am really, really hard on myself and I am. Um, and if I would read something written from another person that says, oh, your English sucks and I really don't want to hear you anymore, this would destroy me. So please don't do that. Please be kind in the comments, even if you have some kind of criticism. Criticism is always good if you do it in a kind and respectful way. Yeah and i do want to get better this is only the first episode um and i want to improve so please be helpful and um yeah that's it so i hope you had as much fun as i did watching the first episode i sure did oh my god i am um, i can't wait to get to the second part of it and um leave uh, a like if you this sounds so strange saying that, but other YouTubers do too, so I'm gonna do it too. Leave a like, leave some comments, and I'm going to see you next time, hopefully. So have a nice day and bye. <laughs>